So I had a massively productive day. I uh, took the time to make this big list of all the stuff I could think of uh, on the car that needed to get done. So the radiator still has two more mounts. Um, I had to cut this the, where the original top went, the filler cap went. But So I cut that off and was welding this thing on here and started having issues and realized I ran out of argon. So I need more gas tomorrow. But I got the upper and lower hoses. They're good to go. The serpentine, I got a new belt on here. It's adjusted. Done some test fires, revving real good. Didn't go anywhere, so filled up the power steering pump. Uh, it seems to be working, but it seems to leak also. So it's actually uh, dripping as we speak. So it looks like I'll be putting a power steering pump on this thing. Uh, this thing is rather old. It's the original one off my Chevrolet with. 497 million miles so but the headers are done the exhaust is done heater core is mounted wire uh, it's not wired yet but it's plumb so I started wiring the instrument cluster well the instrument cluster is done the switch panel as it were which has like <clears throat> there's a cigarette lighter on it um, <clears throat> fuel pump switch one for the cooling fan and the dial for the heater box. So it's just an aluminum panel to cover where the AC panel went and heater vents went. So uh, that's done. I did uh, gaskets. So this thing has a whole tune up valve cover gaskets, header gaskets. Carbs rebuilt. Uh, it's running good. I made this neat little intake. I did that the other day. So the rear axle's in. It wasn't seated all the way. I did that. So, I bled the, bled the clutch out. So, I still got the, uh, you probably can't see it on camera, but the hood latch is hanging there. That's on my list of things to do with lower radiator mounts and then the cooling fan. <clears throat> I need to go out for supplies tomorrow, and depending on how much power steering pump is, I might just pull the radiator and go ahead and do it. But, I got it to the point now where uh, it starts up pretty good. So uh, I'm going to show it to you. <clears throat> so as you can see, it starts up rather easy. Well, it's getting freaking power steering fluid everywhere, but. So that's going to literally have to be addressed tomorrow. That's kind of the update for now. Once I make a, a run out tomorrow, get other things that I need. More than likely including a power steering pump. Should be a... Uh, Got to renew the tags because they died in 2016. And get some gas. I only got like two, two, three gallons in it at the moment, so I won't get very far. And I did the shifter, stirred the car, checked it, the wheels turn, it doesn't make any too much abrupt noises. Put five gallons of cam to it, not because I had to, but just because I wanted to. So it helped clean stuff up. I started putting coolant in it, and I uh, had a hole in the radiator. I took it back out, tried to braze it, still got a little bit of a leak, so I pinched it off, uh, pinched that fin off, and we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to fill it up with the hose for now to see how bad it leaks. Uh, to see if I can either, because I can't really replace this radiator. It's an extremely modified stock radiator. Uh, the mounts on it and everything, and I don't want to have to remake all that. So, I'm <clears throat> just going to figure it out and as we go along. I'm actually going to make an attempt to see if this thing will move under its own power. Let's make sure I didn't leave anything under the hood. 
looks like everything's a okay. Sometimes my hood lash sticks. I gotta get this garage clean and I gotta get a workbench built because there's just stuff everywhere. I was hoping to button up the car that way I could just anything left for the car that I've accumulated can just get trashed. But I'm gonna keep tinkering with it here. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to clean, clean this garage up a little bit. Uh, excuse me. You can see about getting that radiator fixed and uh, getting the coolant in it, but everything else is um, I'm moving right along the fluid in it, uh, I got oil in it, I had to top the oil off but so I still gotta mount the passenger seat but I need some stuff for that so I uh, still can't find my daggone timing light so and I got a measure for the rear firewall. The I gotta wire the fan, which is here very, very, very shortly, but take the shifter off of here, trans, pair of steering. Uh I think I should take it out there and uh see if it'll do a burnout. It's a bit of a one-wheel peeler, but not bad for something that's cobbled together. So, but I'm going to put some water in it and see if I stop the coolant leak. I still haven't set the time, and like I said, I still got some a couple of things to do, but it's getting there. So I'm going to top the coolant off, I'm going to fill the coolant up with the hose and see what I get. I'll catch you back with you guys later. <laughs> 